This video is going to combine two separate types of things that I want to go into. A tribute to modern masters of whatever they are and Tesla. So I'm going to call it Tesla time and modern masters, the, the tribute or something. But there's a lot of them abound and they need to be discovered and we're going to talk about one in a little bit that is unbelievable. One of the most incredible people I've had the chance to, the honor of meeting. And uh, But as in regards to Tesla, he is one of my greatest inspirations, works so hard, his research, his thoughts on the universe, every single thing he did is just unbelievable and so inspiring. He is just a true hero if he is, you know, if he is really the master that he, everything claims to be. And I do believe in him, I really do think, I have a good vibe from him and uh, I've always done some great art relating to him and met a lot of people that are dedicated to his research and everything I've seen. And, talked about has blown my mind especially this the Leslie coil this lady Leslie Baird is one of the most unbelievable people I've had the privilege and honor to meet she made this invention called the Leslie coil which takes something from 240 volts to 40,000 volts like no problem but she can crank it up to uh, in the millions and her goal and basically in creating this incredible unbelievable invention in her basement at one point was basically designed to inevitably come with the idea and discover the idea and method for creating something that could generate a billion volts and she basically she couldn't even talk about it in this video which I recommend everybody go see a James Jager film I remember when this was being filmed or when it had like kind of talked or just been completed and um, you know it, it has an unbelievably low view count for how amazing and awesome it really is so check it out this guy needs this topic needs an a million views because she is a true hero of science and she has been getting set up and had has had a very tough road just to try and do her research it was one of the most unbelievable stories i've ever heard when i met her in person she told me a story for about probably about an hour and it flew by and i was shaking the entire time i've really never met anyone that's told me a story oh, actually i have there have been some stories I've heard but she her story was penetrating to the core because it involved someone who worked so hard and was such a master such a genius an unparalleled level of knowledge exists within her and the authorities and powers that be just did things to her that were unbelievably uncalled for unnecessary and absolutely insane when you come to think about it to the point where they I think she's she was forbidden to go into a library we're gonna have, I'm gonna go into that in one second and uh, what I remember of her story and I don't want to embellish anything but I don't think I could I think no matter what I tell and remember from my thing it will never be as intense as her true story I'm not gonna go into anything that's fairy tale or anything so she is a she deserves incredible respect she is a scientific master beyond Einstein by far maybe even in the realm a bet or better than Tesla because this design that she did is an improve what she claims is an improvement on Tesla's technology and she talk the way she talks about it you kinda know that it is she is a genius a master and she deserves incredible respect Leslie Baird so she has this genius in her blood and, and is related to Michael Faraday who had no children but his uncle is her father so I believe yeah she is the child of Michael Faraday's uncle and so she's probably been inspired since she was incredibly young and her thoughts and her genius has just been building and building over time and I guess this machine as she's been working on for over 30 years and she said at one point it took about it took basically 10 years to get it to resonate and be in tune perfectly so like over time she said sparks were kind of dispersed it was tougher to control and the machine itself had to like tune it had to adapt itself to her like what she was doing to it and her knowledge of all these machines is absolutely incredible like she knows exactly what's going on that's why this this her grandchildren here you know she knows everything's safe she would definitely not do anything and um, take very precautious very incredible and this was all in her basement and so the story relating to this that I remember which is mind-blowing is that she was doing this research in her basement and then inevitably one of the, you know, sometimes she'd make some noise, obviously, but um, at one point the neighbors are caught on or someone called the authorities or the police. The police came, they checked it out, and then I guess inevitably in time, they ended up um, arresting her on charges of meth production 
or something crazy like that, something absolutely preposterous, to even think that anyone like, that any of this is for that purpose, or to uh, interact with this woman and think that she could, do, you know, that that anyone could focus and to do any of this stuff, if you are on any type of substance of any kind, like this woman is purely on the thought of science and energy. She is not on anything else, and she, this is, and she was, I guess, blasted in the local papers and just had an incredible time in court and I guess people maybe I think went against her in a way that was very suspicious and like she was just got an unbelievably bad rap an absolutely preposterous sentence for doing nothing but basically discovering something unbelievable that somebody wanted stopped and it's really sad because people humanity should not be under this type of grip. If there's a technology that someone can make like this, or a science that someone can guide us towards like this, it should be known about, it should be written about, and thankfully she knew that. And I believe when she was um, incarcerated, she wrote a book called Heretical Physics. And I've been trying to get my hands on this book for a very long time. I remember flipping through it in the uh, Tesla convention, being blown away. She just basically decimates Einstein absolutely like destroys many scientific thoughts and things that we know about with things that she can back up and ways to experiment and for everyone to back up I remember that was a part of it they were like everyday experiments that basically proved modern science wrong or different avenues of science wrong and heretical physics it's just ingenious you know, she's a she's a master she is a very great, great woman, and talking to her and hearing her story was incredible. And it was so much longer than my my explanation of it. But she she went through those trials. I'm not sure how long she was incarcerated, but I think it was a pretty long time. It was very unnecessary and for a crime she didn't commit, for being a genius for me. And then I think luckily the Nikola Tesla Science Foundation, which is run by a great, great group of people. I love them. I absolutely love them. They're doing some amazing work. Thankfully, they obtained this technology, I believe, from Leslie, and they, they were able to keep it safe and um, preserve a lot of stuff. So I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know anything about what's going on now. Maybe I will do an update very soon because um, I have a feeling I will. But um, this woman deserves uh, research. Uh, she deserves to be known and honored and treasured. She is absolutely pointing down, and she can lead. She can lead a lot of people in the future down a way that could, you know, generate billions and millions of volts. Like she, I think she, she understands energy and frequency and electricity in a way that very few people on Earth do. Like as that's you can tell, and, and just to when you think that they did all those things to her to just stifle her research and keeping her from libraries permitting her to like publish and, and do different things or i'm not sure if that's totally true but i both i mean pretty much like ruining her name to the point where this video even her invention like imagine if the te tesla invented something and two thousand people watched it in uh, in eight years like that's that's kind of stinks we need to get more people to um cue into her and you know, bring her back on the scientific level that she deserves, because she deserves it. She deserves a Nobel Prize for this, by far, compared to what I've seen people getting Nobel Prizes for. She deserves 20. Now, she has a quote at one point that says, the only way to learn it's by doing it. You can't learn this in school. And, you know, she's partly right, but there's no way to stop us from teaching our kids this stuff in the future in discovering these things and encouraging them to like research and discover especially really the homemade innovations that that she talks about in heretical physics that basically anyone can do uh, that prove things you know that should be kids should be doing more science experiments in classes and less on their iPad there's a big difference between doing something on an iPad and doing something in real life experimenting with the real principles and magic that's around us is very important and if we've been led down the wrong way, we need to take a drastic detour and go towards the right path of truth. And, you know, I mean, she works so hard on this that that main kind of um, core area is wrapped with copper that she hand wrapped for over a month. She, uh, she lathers everything with like a certain type of, um, you know, conductor and, 
every single piece she's gathered over time and placed perfectly together and she has certain fuses and at one point she's like if these aren't in there and the place burns down it's not my fault or something like that like you know so she's so cautious you know she cares her grandchildren you know she has she's not being doing anything dangerous and you know that part right there is kind of where the beam connects and uh, she can kind of create different beams and rates by different distances and she says that like when it um when it's really far apart, sparks can go everywhere, so she keeps it in a controlled, like, kind of close area. So here's some video slowed down a little bit of the zaps. Definitely check out the video so you can hear the sound and uh, to see how people react. And they talk about the smell of ozone, which I remember from the convention. That's a very fascinating aspect of all of this ozone and how that plays into everything and the shape of everything. But this lady knows a lot, and this machine is incredible. So here, check out some of these zaps. It makes me always think about lightning, and like, ever since I was young, I've always been to, under the realization that, you know, civilizations have always been able to see lightning. Haven't they kind of always thought about harnessing that type of power when they see it destroy something, or they just see what it is? You know, they've got to be curious about it. And I really feel like also that ancient pa in the ancient past, our weather has been a lot different. We, what we're seeing now is something that's been changed, unfortunately, in whatever way is possible, in many ways. But um, I have a feeling back a long time ago, it was you know very etheric and very energetic and something we can't even fathom today. It must have been absolutely incredible and worked in a totally different way, a more functional way. And a much healthier way that was probably more in tune to the natural beginnings of how creation was and how our Earth was intended to resonate or magneticize or anything. Because it was, has definitely changed over time and that whatever in many ways and whoever is attributable to that or whatever is, is all up for debate. But this, you know, I also makes me wonder if this is in somehow connection to the ancient technologies we see, like did they uh, wrap copper around the inside of different mechanisms and different steeple toppings and different um, areas, or were those machines once inhabiting some places we know of as churches and they've since been dismantled, like we have no idea. The scientific achievements, inventions, and accomplishments of Leslie Baird deserve to be in the history books and in the science books and avenues of thought and money deserve to be dedicated towards discovering what she did and giving her credit for it and taking her knowledge and figuring out ways to just make energy for the population. That's what we all have to do. We need to discover these areas of our world, the magic of our world, and promote them and encourage them, and we shouldn't be stifling them. That era has got to change. I hope we're done with that. But Leslie Baird deserves to be honored. She is like a Tesla. She's a testament to the power of the human in our lifetime. You know, when someone dedicates enough thought in their... Uh, they're, you know, they're set out on a path for a certain destiny. They do anything they can to accomplish it, and no matter what the world throws at them, they just continue to go and continue to rock and discover. Every time the world threw something crazy at her, she just plowed right through it, and she just deserves to be honored and cherished. She is a treasure. And Nikola Tesla was a treasure, and these creations that we see nowadays, you know, what if Nikola Tesla was like the last known survivor of this ancient technology? He, was, he maybe saw it when he was a kid, his grandfather, great-grandfather may have told him about it, and he just perpetuated on a path, just like Leslie, from being very young, knowing that you're capable and that your family was capable of something so great, so knowing that you are too, and pushing yourself to the limits beyond what anyone else thinks, sacrificing sleep, sacrificing fun and sacrificing all these things that other people take comfort in and common and just going right for your craft, just honoring the gift you've been given and sharpening the skills and power and just discovering things, you know, at times when nobody else knows, nobody needs to know. There's no social media credit or likes involved with anything she did. She just did it all for her own intentions, which we can't even understand because they're so pure and they're so beautiful. So I want to send a thank you out to Leslie for dedicating your entire life towards the pursuit of knowledge and truth against all odds. It is an unbelievable story and you will get the recognition you deserve within history and the scientific community. We will make sure of it. 
and especially thanks to people like Nikola Lonchar, one of the main guys at the Nikola Tesla Science Foundation based out of Philadelphia. They do amazing work for the preservation of Tesla, his genius, his wonders, his history, his legacy, everything. They do so much great stuff and this is just the beginning of Tesla Talks on this channel. He's one of my favorite things to talk about, one of my favorite topics in humans to ever exist and so we're going to go really deep into him and I might even get to uh, show you some really cool technology that we saw in that video and a lot more historical artifacts and great other things that a lot of people may not get to see. Stay tuned, this is just the beginning of our exploration into Tesla as well as our exploration into living masters and people of the modern era that deserve recognition that may not have gotten it in their time period. We're going to make it happen. So share this with your friends and family and bless you all.